Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the final night of the National North American Convention. Have you had a great week? Wonderful. While you got your hands together, we've been blessed this week by so many gifted people, speakers and so forth. But this group of instrumentalists and singers up here on this platform, I don't want you to clap for them. I want you to clap to him, for them. Would you please welcome and say thank you. If you're a pastor, if you're a leader in your church here, you've been representing your church, would you stand to your feet right now? All of our pastors and worship leaders and education directors and children's ministers, would you give these folks a wonderful God bless you and thank you. Now everyone stand to your feet. Let's come before the throne tonight in an attitude of worship, not just celebration, not just emotion and excitement, but absolute adoration to Him. Come on, sing this with us. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to One day. you tried to convince someone to take and they like their way better? We live in Kansas. I live in Wichita, Kansas, and there's a nice little shortcut if you're driving through the Midwest. It takes off about an hour, but my father insists on driving his own way. It takes an extra hour and a half to come to my house because he likes the view. 
That's how frustrating it is sometimes to convince someone who has never offered their life to Christ what it's like to follow Him. Oh no, my way's better. There's a better view. I'm just going to live my life my own way. Never, ever, ever understanding what it's like to live in faith. To understand that this person, this God, is my one true way. He is my redeemer, as we sang earlier, my rewarder, my savior. And I find, I don't know about you, but I find it so difficult sometimes to figure out how to lead someone to Christ who thinks living by the world is a better way. But that's in fact what we're called to do, isn't it? Some way, somehow, in my life, in my testimony, in my witness, in and yours. Our one simple specific call as the church of God and as the body of Christ and as a follower of Christ is to find some way to lead people to Christ and Christ alone. I pray all that we have learned and heard and thought about this week has been far more than just another chance for a taste of Gene's hot dogs and root beer. <laughs> I pray all that I've been challenged in this week with Pastor Mitchell, with all of the pastors who spoke every single night as I contemplate that today. Lord, I pray that it's been a whole lot more for you and I than just a great week in Anderson. I pray in some way my challenge has been, God, how can you use me? to represent Christ and Christ alone even more. I pray that's your prayer today. Would you stand and sing with us? Sing it. In Christ alone. 